Hello there. Uh, I've been asked a lot to do a tutorial on uh, how I build cockpits in uh, Trailmakers. I should have probably probably limited the angle on this one. Uh, <laughs> but that's, that's what we're going to do because people have been asking for that and, well, I didn't know what else to do. So, we're going to delete that one um, and start with some cockpit stuff. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, I'm freestyling this whole video. Let's actually start with something like this, so we actually have a base to build on. It's always a good start, right? Um, and then we are going to need a seat. Uh, for a seat I usually would use all this one or this one, as all my builds are uh, one block center, meaning there's an uneven amount of blocks in width. With, with, uh, <laughs> I have difficult to difficulty uh, talking today, but and this one is just like the easiest seat to use because of the how short it is. So I think we'll go with that one. Now we need to uh, get like a piston. I'm not going to go step by step. For this whole thing, by the way, like that's that's just there's no fun in that. Um, it's, you won't learn a whole lot from it either. So we go like this. Uh, start position should be like 0.17 or something. Uh, notice how I'm putting it on minus 100. That's just easier. And now the seat is in the middle. See, I think I want to get some walls in first. Which, this is also always a problem. <laughs> uh, this, it's, it's just trail makes being difficult. This makes for uneven uh, aerodynamics also. Which is a problem. Alright. So this is about how high the walls are going to be. And I think, because the seat is right here, then... Uh, let, let's just start. Mm, I, I always have to think on how I start, but I'm going to need something like this. So these are just going to lead up to um, the actual. Uh, Thing in my bob itself. Uh, I think I want this. Um, so what? What these? These holes here are for like the feet. That's where your feet go. <laughs> That's uh, the rudder controls and stuff uh, are in there. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, usually, you'll see something like this. Uh, this is this is all right. I'm not using any reference image imagery, so usually that's what I would do. Get like a reference, know what I'm doing. And this cockpit to is turning out to be really high for some reason. So I haven't figured out whether I want to use this camera or this. And I think I'm going for top of seat. Fixing one thing introduces more problems, usually, actually. Um, what I'll do next is probably add something like this. It, it, like, cast, usually this like casts shade. Uh, and this is where I'll have the MFDs. The multifunctional displays. That's what an MFD is. Uh, to get those in place, we'll do this. And these should be blockless. As I'm going to do for most of them is uh, remove all the blocks. Uh, we're going to use decals. For this. Uh, there is a pretty neat trick with these. I have shown this before. Uh, if I go like this, and uh, that's it, 
problem with I think hmm. there, there's one problem with that and that's because of perspective and I, I wish I didn't have it because of the way decals work and this is not in the middle of the screen and I can only move it around like this because um, the game is not isometric this doesn't really function amazingly so it gets kind of like curved so you can just copy and paste all right now we have two mfds which now we're going to do use another trick cover with glass and make that paint it black or well any color that makes it nice and visible and we're going to put a decal over it with something. Um, I haven't decided on what I want in there. <laughs> something like this. But no, that doesn't really work. Um, yeah, I, I've struggled with this for a, a while. But you can you can really put anything on there you would like. Uh, for now, we'll just use two example thing Um For the middle one, I'd like some more depth. Uh, so we'll use a little light and I think if we go uh, uh, where was it where's the mirrors here we go we can put a decal on top of this one too to uh, stop it from reflecting and instead we can have it be a gauge This is just example stuff. You don't have to do it like this. No, no, I don't want that. Maybe something like this. So this is what we have right now. These are the MFDs and some general control stuff. Uh, what we're going to want next. Uh, next is going to be the HUD. This is... Probably one of the most important things if you're, and it just really depends on what you're building, really. Um, what kind of uh, plane? If you're building a jet fighter, uh, this is essential. If you are building an old school fighter, it will probably have a HUD. If you're not building a fighter, then it's not going to have a HUD, I think. <laughs> Some might, but the, the, the rare cases. This is the, the, you don't see those often. Um, like one of these. Usually the HUD actually extends forward a bit. I might have to remove that one. Mm, I might just want to do it like this. So we're going to put some glass on top of that. And the site things you can do a few things for like the, the two sides um, I find it quite difficult to choose from this to a bit lower so it, so what I'm doing here is a piston glitch if you don't know what that is then it's basically using a bug in trail makers to push blocks into one another for added detail, and I'm just experimenting with the height here. I, I'm not going to do the maths for it. I'm too lazy for that. Uh, I want it to be a little lower. So now we get the problem of <laughs> piston glitches being annoying. Um, I don't know a fix for that. These two pieces are just colliding, and there isn't really anything you can do about it. It's annoying, and it's not a bug, it's the fix to a bug. Uh, I wish they would keep the bug more. <laughs> mm, but I don't know how to fix this. Maybe if we change that one. Just, just it, it has to do with weld groups and such, and they're kind of complicated. I apparently know how to fix them. Great, all right, um, this is uh, pretty much what I wanted, actually it's, it's, it, it's still bugging, nice one.
I'm going to have to cut through a lot of this because I'm just random stuff like that. I'm not going to keep everything in, obviously. So what do we do with the HUD? Of course, we will need some form of targeting bit, which is usually fairly small. Uh, I wish I could put like a little dot in it. Actually, <gasps> ooh. Something like that should work. I don't know how well. Oh, yeah, that's pretty visible. All right. And then we can do something cool right here. Make that glass and put a decal behind it, which would. All right. Uh, decal. So dec uh, decal behind it um, makes for like the text and stuff you have in every HUD. But I don't know exactly how to do it real well. Um, it's it's very difficult, honestly. Bring the size down from this. Well, that's not going to work. Yeah, uh, Trill makes a lot of experimenting with what works and what doesn't, and then nothing works, and then you give up and you play something else. <laughs> Not talking from experience, of course. I definitely am. Um. Hmm. I could do this. This is kind of nice. You, of course, you can't actually see it from the other side, which is. A feature, yet a strange one. We'll make that green and make this kind of get yellow. Does that work? No, I think I just want this to be dark glass. Okay, well, it, it's something. It's something. It's still kind of bugging out, but we're getting there. So you also have to decide what kind of uh, stick you want. Whether you want it in the middle or in the back. Uh, I think... This is probably going to be the nicest. If we spin these two around. All right. Right, WS on it. Thingy up there. All right, this, this is going to be nice once we get like seat control in. It's also in reverse, but that's an easy fix. Alright, now we have that. Uh, we're going to do some colouring now because it's important. <laughs> that, that's, that's the entire reason. Um, I like to do something like this with the matte uh, black. Which you need block skins for that. So if, if you don't have block skins then well, too bad. <laughs> I can't fix it for you. Um, but you just have to make use of what you have, I guess. There, there isn't really a different option. Uh, here, we, we're just going to put some buttons here, I think. Having like a button panel is always good. Line it up nicely. Alright, so we have some buttons. That's nice. Uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, we're going to remove this. Change this. So you didn't really like how this looked, so... We're going to have it slope down. That's more like it. Let's say. Probably going to go for the matte black again. I think we might want this to be a little darker. Usually, like, the background materials in a cockpit are fairly dark. Don't know why. I 
All right, uh, this is already looking pretty nice. Now, I think instead of this, I want it to be shield pieces, which just look a lot better. All right. Uh, it makes it a little more spacious, and I think I can do some more stuff with all the new room I have created. It's going to be quite a large plane, I guess. Alright, that's looking a lot better now. Um, this is also a problem. Alright, th this is pretty smooth sailing so far, except with the uh, whole rotating seat thing, which um, we'll change in a moment. We'll do that. We'll get onto that. I forgot to turn on the lighting for my face. You have been looking at very white me <laughs> for a while now. Uh, ah, it's probably fine. I don't know whether brownish will work. Green. We could make it Russian and just go blue. I don't know why they use like a weird bluish. Oh, these. That's strange. Um. You're looking at like a block skins to make it look better. I think something. I think. No, that's too busy for the eyes. I think. This would be a lot better. This this is probably. Oh yeah, I like this one. All right, this is nice. Um, I think we need to color this one. So let's do like a red and um, black thing. All right, that looks good to me. Uh, we need to fill this hole up. Which we'll just do with piece like this. This is just how I go on about it like a design. I don't really put much thought into some parts. And like this cockpit isn't correct at all. There's, there is a lot of mistakes but and things that wouldn't aren't realistic if, if that's really what you're going for. But, you know, it's, I don't really care about that. Oh, I do, but not for this video. This is just going to be like a little tutorial on how I do things. But yeah, this is already pretty much complete. Um, I do want to take another attempt at uh, making the seat rotation work. But yeah, I'm kind of at a loss for how to unfloppy it because this is going to suck when flying. <laughs> I don't know why it does this. It's just kind of stupid. It's trail makers. Trail maker sometimes just very much dislikes the player for some reason. <laughs> well, that, that's what it feels like at times. Maybe just having like the bigger one will help. It's already on A and E. That helps. A tad bit. Spoiler alert, it, it did not help. These are not stronger for some reason. Uh, I cannot tell you why. <laughs> um, the only thing I know is that it's a strange game. I want to change this. Let's do that first. Alright, yeah, I'm already happy with how high that is. I might just want to make this slower and put it on the arrows. Yeah, th this is unbearable. Um, I have never had this be this bad. I don't really get why it's doing this.
me if I like double these up. That just okay. That did improve it by quite a bit. That that those are just collisions with that thing, the wall. Which that's fine. I uh, collisions collisions can be fixed. <laughs> that's not a problem. I kind of want to put these back a block. Take some more space. Yeah, we fixed it. Great. Now I can look up and stuff. All right. Great. Uh, this is already pretty much it. Uh, we're already at almost 40 minutes. Um, making this fly is a whole different story. That's much more difficult, arguably. But it, this is functional. Right, Th this is this is all you need in a cockpit, pretty much. Um, at least I don't usually have more in it. It's still a little rough around the edges, but it it's a it's a cockpit. <laughs> it's not super detailed. You can add tons more detail if you want to. Um, you you could uh, you could add like piston glitch or something like. You could add a bunch more stuff. Um. But this is like the general premise. This is how I do things. Um, and that's about it, really. I'm just going to uh, start editing. So <laughs> this down to like half an hour, maybe. And um, call it the day. Now I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, we'll see if I could do like a multiplayer video for the next video. I think that would be fun. Because having two of these in a row... Or, or have I don't want to do like two multiplayer videos in a row, but also not two tutorial single player videos in a row. So I'll see if I can alternate it a bit because that's I think most fun for everyone. So yeah, uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye.